Military ceremonies have been a vital part of Navy tradition from the very beginning. They embody the Navy's core values of honor, courage, and commitment. And they instill pride, esprit de corps, and command unity. We'd be diminished without them. But there are other ceremonies and customs which you may encounter that are actually contrary to our core values. I'm talking about hazing, the kind of senseless and dangerous behavior that sometimes accompanies ceremonies, initiations, and rites of passage. The Navy is built on its traditions, but authentic naval tradition comes from teamwork and taking care of each other, not from humiliation or the empty infliction of pain. But what is hazing exactly? And what are your responsibilities when you encounter it? That's what this video is all about. You'll see several examples that will help you identify hazing and distinguish it from legitimate Navy customs and ceremonies and give you a clearer idea of every sailor's responsibility when confronted with hazing. Now, one of the most notorious examples of hazing is inflicted on sailors crossing the equator for the first time. It's known as crossing the line. But watch carefully. Not every part of even this ritual qualifies as hazing. I was the last of about 20 first timers to go through the ceremony. Next! It was kind of goofy, but it was fun. It made me feel like I accomplished something, crossing the equator. Oh, great King Neptune, ruler of the seven seas, I beseech thee, take pity on this poor and humble wog and transform her insignificant worthlessness into an exalted shellback. Poor and piteous wog, I, the magnificent Neptune, hear your plea and grant your wish to be transformed into an experienced and capable shellback. Rise, shellback, and join your shellback school. We thought that the whole ceremony was over, but the shellbacks herded my division out of the hangar Down and into shellback. one of the machine shops below decks. Down to your destiny. Let's go, get them in here! Let's go, move it, move it, go, 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 come on, Wogs! Get in here, Wogs! Listen up, listen up, you pathetic little worms. You thought you were done crossing the line. You thought you were shellbacks now, but nothing could be further from the truth. This is a real crossing of the line ceremony. You see this thing? This is the Wog garbage chute. You want to be a shellback, you got to crawl through the chute to prove you're worthy of being a shellback. But before, you get in the chute, we got a few things we're gonna add. It's like these mm-mm tasty oh, fishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Yes, add that for a little bit of flavor. And then, just to give it that home cook feeling, a few raw eggs. Yeah, just like mama used to make, huh? And if that's not enough, then let's add some coffee grounds. <laughs> Woo, baby. Yeah, now, who's gonna be first? Give me that one right there, right here. Right there. Right there. Give me your certificate. The chute looked absolutely disgusting. I didn't want to touch it, never mind to get into it. But everybody was watching. What could I do? Come and get it. Come on. What are you waiting on? That's it. Get in the chute. Come on. Six feet. Six feet from Shellback. Let's go. Come on. Get in the chute. We don't have all day. Get in the chute. Get in the chute. You. Get in the chute. Get in the tub. Get in the goo. Let's move it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, get your butt in the chute. Get down. Get down. Full dunk. Get all the way, all the way down. Put your head in the muck right now. You better get that. Let's go. Get your head in there. Dunk that head. Get it down there. Shellback, welcome there, Shellback. That's it, Shellback. Come on up. Yeah, nice job. All right, coming out of there. Get on there, Shellback. You're fine, you're fine. There you go. That's it, yeah. All in fun, right? Wrong. You've just witnessed hazing, but not everything you saw qualifies as hazing. The first part with the ceremony with King Neptune was a little silly, maybe, but it wasn't hazing because it was authorized and supervised by the command, and it was not intended to humiliate the initiates. But as you probably guessed, what happened in the machine shop was hazing. It's true no physical force was used and nobody was injured, but verbal or psychological coercion still makes it hazing. Hazing is wrong, 
and prohibited, not just because people get injured, but because abusing any sailor's dignity interferes with good order and discipline and can hurt unit cohesion. Every naval ceremony should reflect our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. This one didn't, and neither does the next one you'll see, which also looks at how best to respond to hazing when you encounter it. Welcome aboard. I'm Petty Officer Davis. I'm in your division. I'll be checking in and showing you around. So uh, why don't we stow your gear and go meet the chief of the boat? Okay. Um, leaves the head first and clean up a bit. Oh yeah, sure. Here's the head. I'll wait for you up in the mess decks. It's just up the ladder to the right. Okay. Thanks a lot. Hey, you new on board? Yes, I'm um, MM3 Williams. I'll be in auxiliary division. I'm in A gang too. Have you had your official welcome yet? Uh. No. No, I haven't. Okay then, uh, first thing, come with me and uh, we'll give you the official greeting. Okay. I was really excited about getting posted to this new boat. I mean, I was kind of in a hurry to get this welcoming over with so I could report to the cob and, you know, start selling in. Welcome aboard. Mm -hmm. Now you get the official welcome. We're gonna initiate you. Welcome aboard. Have a seat. Got the tape. Great. Put your hand on your leg. Let's Stay right there. Word, I don't like getting tied up. Never had. Even when I was a kid, it makes me nervous. But I figured it would go fast if I just let them do their thing. Hey, uh, phone, phone guys, uh, I gotta put the job. Man, shut up. That's enough. Phone guys, but I have to put the job now. That's enough now. Hey, I said that's enough. Man, shut up. Let me go. Hey, hey come on. Hmm? Man, shut up. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> Tell anybody about us, and you're real sorry. Real sorry. Real sorry. Shut up. Being on a sub doesn't make me claustrophobic, but getting tied up, huh? I was so mad and I was scared, and I thought I was going to get sick. But luckily, somebody came along real quick. It was all that noise, I guess. Hey, you okay? Yo, man. You okay, man? Yeah, I think so. I'm Tony Ruiz. I'm Mark Williams. I shake your hand, but, uh... <laughs> yeah, I've been on this boat a while. I know for a fact the CEO and the chief of the boat won't approve of this kind of stuff. I think I was back, be back here all night. You need to report this immediately. Yeah, well, you know, I don't want everybody to be thinking I'm some kind of rat on my very first day. Hey, listen, this is hazing. It's prohibited, it's wrong. It won't just end with you. There'll be a next guy, and the next, and the next. You have a duty to report this. Nah, man. I appreciate it and all, but I just rather just let pass, man. You don't understand. If you don't report this, I will. I'll have no choice. We both have a responsibility to report hazing. Every sailor in the Navy does. All right. Go ahead, lead the way. Wiz and I, we reported the incident to my new cop. And I. That's way. Come on in. Have a seat. Later that day, my chief ordered me to report to the cop. The first thing I want to let you know is that the CEO has appointed investigating officer. An investigation is already underway. He's totally against hazing. He'll make sure these guys are dealt with, OK? OK, OK, cop. All right, the main reason why I asked you here is to see how you're doing. Well, I'm, I'm doing fine. Uh, I just didn't know I could openly come to you like this. You know, I would have come to you earlier. I'm fine. Oh, I know how tough this is. It could be traumatic, especially when you're the new guy. But I just want you to know that if you need to talk to me, you can come see me anytime, or I can arrange to have you talk to the chapel and family services center. Okay, Carl. One more thing. If there are any reprisals over this, anything at all, I want to know about it immediately. Williams, what happened to you goes against Navy policy and core values, and it will not be tolerated on this ship. If you help cover it up, it will just continue with new crew members. We all need to work together so this stops, okay? Yes, Carl. All right, that's it for now, but if you need to talk to me, you can come see me anytime. All right, carry on. Thanks a lot, Carl. All right. In the last scene, we heard that the commanding officer had been notified of the hazing incident and initiated an investigation. And of course, it's true that the chain of command bears a large part of the responsibility for dealing with hazing. But it's also important to remember that everyone in the Navy has a responsibility to report hazing from seamen to admiral, victims, bystanders, even perpetrators. Eliminating hazing isn't just a command responsibility. It's everyone's responsibility. 
This scene also demonstrated the right way for supervisors to take care of the victims of hazing. Remember that they are victims, not criminals. It's vital to make sure that their rights and dignity are respected and that they get whatever support they need. And that applies even if the hazing victim apparently consented to being hazed. Now that issue, consent, happens to be the focus of our final example. Congratulations, Commander Fetcher, Commanding Officer. Congratulations, Petty Officer Wardell. We're very proud of you. You've worked hard. Thank you, sir. I'd worked really hard for it. Getting promoted from seaman to third class was about the most exciting moment of my life. And it meant a lot to me to have a ceremony in front of all my friends and co-workers. Okay. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward you to You gotta it. enjoy it. Oh, I've been waiting long. a long time for this. Yes. It's tradition. You gotta have the bruises. Without just the bruises. Just like everybody else. It's tradition. You gotta have yeah. that bruise. Good time. Oh, Wardell, give it to him. Come on, Simmons. Oh, yeah. Right after the official ceremony, I went back to my work center. Of course, I knew what was waiting for me. Are you ready there, Wardell? Oh! That's what you do It hurt. Yeah, it hurt pretty good. It's not like I enjoyed it, but everybody goes through it. I didn't feel like I had much choice. Oh! Come on! You really gotta let him have it, eh? Put some muscle into it! Oh, all right, all By the time they were finished, my arm was killing me. Ah, that's not too bad. Teach you to toughen up. <laughs> You'll live, it's only a bruised arm. But at least it was over, until the Divo stopped by to congratulate me. Hey, good work, Petty Officer Third Class Wardell. Thank you, sir. Wardell, roll that sleeve up a second. What happened to you? Oh, it's no problem, sir. Tacking on is prohibited. I thought I made that quite clear. It's okay, sir, uh, that I let them do it. I didn't have a problem with it. It's Navy tradition. You think that's tradition, huh? That's not tradition. It's a serious violation. Raise that arm over your head. <sighs> right. I want that shoulder looked at. Report to the clinic. And when you get back, I'm calling quarters. We're all going to have a little talk. Yes, sir. The Divo called a meeting to discuss the situation with the commanding officer and executive officer. The CO got directly involved and filed his own report on the incident. I sure wasn't thrilled to have my first day as third class mentioned in the CO's report. I was sure that I'd made the Navy policy on hazing. Absolutely clear in this division. But when I saw Wardell's arm today, well, maybe I didn't make it clear enough. So listen up. In the future, there will be no misunderstandings. You were all here when Wardell had his official authorized ceremony earlier. That ceremony is intended to build pride, and esprit de corps. And that's where Navy tradition ended. The kind of tacking on that Wardell was subjected to may have a history in the Navy, but that doesn't make it a Navy tradition. Navy tradition is looking out for your shipmates, not abusing them. Now about hazing. Tacking on is physical abuse, but hazing can also be verbal or psychological, and it's all prohibited in this command and throughout the Navy. And to the recipients of the hazing, I want to make it clear today that you are not permitted to consent to hazing. And just because someone gives you their consent to be hazed doesn't make it okay. And finally, let me add that you cannot ignore hazing when you see it. Everyone is responsible for reporting it. If you think something isn't right, you must tell someone in the chain of command. All right, that's the policy, and we're serious about it. Dismissed. Wardo, come here for a second. 
I just wanted to see how your arm is doing. It's okay, sir. They took care of it. All right. I hope you learned something from this. Yes, sir. No more hazing. It'll never happen again. Good. By now you may be thinking that just about anything could be hazing, but that's not really the case. You've already seen how authorized Navy customs and ceremonies performed with dignity or at least with respect and command supervision are not hazing. Keep in mind also that training and operation assignments given with proper authority are also not hazing, no matter how difficult or unpleasant they may be. As for deciding what is hazing, we've only been able to offer you a few common examples but hazing comes in a staggering number of variations, far more than we could possibly list or even imagine. There's no cookbook, no easy answers. What makes an action hazing is the underlying abuse of a sailor's dignity. As you've seen, there's nothing honorable about hazing. In fact, it's disrespectful. And there's nothing courageous about coercion and intimidation either. And hazing shows a complete lack of commitment to the welfare of your fellow sailor. In short, Hazing is actually hostile to the Navy's core values, not to mention illegal and punishable. Keep that in mind. Use your judgment and you'll have all the tools you need to deal with hazing.